We will learn all the scientific information regarding ulcerative colitis in this video. Along with Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis is one of the two main forms of inflammatory bowel disease. When it comes to the large bowel colon and or rectum, ulcerative colitis typically affects them, as opposed to Crohn's disease, which can affect any region of the gastrointestinal tract, from your mouth to your anus. While Crohn's disease can cause inflammation to penetrate all the way through the thickness of your bowel wall, ulcerative colitis only causes inflammation in the outermost layers of your intestinal lining. Your immune system makes a mistake, which results in ulcerative colitis. When you have ulcerative colitis, your immune system mistakenly believes that food, food gut bacteria, and the cells that line your colon are the intruders. Normally, your immune system fights invaders in your body. Instead of protecting you, your white blood cells assault the lining of your colon. Ulcers and inflammation are brought on by them. Although it can strike at any age, ulcerative colitis often begins between the ages of 15 and 30, and less frequently between the ages of 50 and 70. It appears to run in families and equally affects both sexes. What are the types of ulcerative colitis? Your body's location determines the type of ulcerative colitis you have. The most prevalent kinds are pancolitis, ulcerative proctitis, proctosigmatitis, and left-sided colitis. The mildest kind of proctitis, known as ulcerative proctitis, typically just affects the rectum, the section of the colon closest to the anus. One or the only symptoms of this condition may be rectal bleeding. Your colon's lower end and rectum can develop proctosigmatitis. You will experience stomach agony, cramping, and bloody diarrhea. Tenesmus is the condition in which you feel the urge to poop, but are unable to do so. Your stomach cramps on the left side if you have left-sided colitis. Additionally, you can lose weight and experience bloody diarrhea. From your rectum up through the left part of your colon, you will experience irritation. Your entire colon may be affected by pancolitis. It may result in severe episodes of bloody diarrhea, discomfort, exhaustion, and significant weight loss. Bloody diarrhea is one of the primary symptoms of ulcerative colitis. You can also have some pus in your stools. Other signs and symptoms include fever, dehydration, exhaustion, and stomach cramps. In ulcerative colitis, there is a feeling as if you have not completely emptied your colon after you use the bathroom. Ulcerative colitis symptoms might worsen, subside, and then return. You might go weeks or years without having any. If your entire large intestine is impacted by ulcerative colitis, or if you have had it for a while, your risk of developing colon cancer is increased. How to diagnose ulcerative colitis? Calprotectin testing of the stool and colonoscopy are the two primary methods used to diagnose ulcerative colitis. A type of white blood cell called a neutrophil releases a protein called calprotectin. Neutrophils travel to the part of the gastrointestinal tract that is inflamed and release calprotectin, which causes the level in the stool to rise. In order to find intestinal inflammation, the calprotectin test examines the amount of calprotectin in stool. A long, flexible tube is introduced into the rectum during a colonoscopy. The doctor can see the whole interior of the colon thanks to a tiny video camera at the tube's tip. How to treat ulcerative colitis? Two fundamental objectives drive treatment. The first is to improve your mood and give your colon time to recover. The second goal is to stop further flare-ups. To achieve these goals, you might need to combine changing your diet with taking medicine or having surgery. In terms of diet, some foods can exacerbate your symptoms. You might discover that bland, Soft food does not affect you as much as spicy food or foods heavy in fiber. Your doctor might advise you to quit consuming dairy products if you are lactose intolerant, which means you have trouble digesting the sugar found in milk. Enough vitamins and nutrients should be provided via a balanced diet that includes lots of fiber, lean protein, fruits, and vegetables. Your doctor might advise using a variety of medications, such as antibiotics, amino salicylates, corticosteroids, and immune modulators. You may require surgery if medical treatment is ineffective or if your inflammation is severe. What about ulcerative colitis prognosis? Most patients with ulcerative colitis have it for a very long time. There will be flare-ups and times when you experience nothing at all. Your physician will refer to this as remission. A small percentage of people only experience one assault before being free of pain. In about 10% of ulcerative colitis patients, 
the initial attack soon worsens and leads to significant consequences, even though it can develop into colon cancer. If doctors are able to remove the patient's colon in time, roughly 50% of those who contract it survive. In the end, if you liked this video, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the bell button to receive all new updates. Goodbye.